What is up, gang? We are back with another video, and this time around we are doing a streaming services tier list. So go ahead and get ready to cancel all the trash ones we are about to mention. Yeah, I'm noticing we're missing a few streaming services like where the heck is the hub and X Hamster. No way am I ever going to put those two in this list. Now hold on, Barack. Let's hear Joey out on this one because I think it's a valid question. Like for me, I want to know where Brazzers would rank on this list. And you two are officially done from commenting further on this. Let's start this tier list and up first, we got Apple TV. And I think it is fair to say that this is fairly mid and have it in C tier. I don't know anything on their streaming service aside from Ted Lasso, which by the way, absolutely bangs. I am a huge Ted Lasso guy and it's a very feel good show. Feel good show, huh? Does it feel good to watch Ted Lasso go through his divorce and barely see his kid because he's halfway across the world? Is that the type of stuff that you enjoy, Barack? Jesus, man, it's a good show and that is just a part of the plot. Anyways, up next we got CBS All Access, which is also more known as Paramount Plus to everyone. I also have this going into C tier alongside Apple TV. The reason for this is because this is basically just my South Park service. I don't see anyone else actually using this thing, unless God forbid you're like Joey over here who constantly watches Young Sheldon for whatever reason instead of South Park. Listen man, I hear all the Young Sheldon hate, but riddle me this. Have you guys ever tried watching it? Joe, no one in their right mind should be watching Young Sheldon out of their own free will. Like gun to my head, well shit, I guess I'll watch it, but otherwise, I will choose to watch any other show in existence. Yeah, you're missing out on some peak. Young Sheldon will forever remain the best show to have in the background playing while I'm doing almost anything else. You two can't understand the value in that because I am much, much more busier than you two because of all my presidential duties. Joe, the other day you showed me your screen time on your phone and I saw you had over eight hours on TikTok. What could possibly be keeping you so busy that you need a background show to be playing? Those eight hours were Chinese surveillance in order to make sure the future of America isn't being tainted, and I had to make sure there weren't any subliminal messages throughout it. Safe to say the big bundas I saw on my For You page were not of national security concern, so you're welcome for keeping all of America safe. Wow, we are so grateful anyways. Up next we got Disney Plus, and this rating might make all you Marvel goblinoids mad, but I am putting this in A tier. Like I am not trying to watch every single Marvel show in existence. They make shows for just about anyone these days. And I also don't want to watch every Disney movie all over again. I'm sorry to the 7% of our female audience and all the Disney boys, but I am not going to watch Lion King for the fifth time. Whoa, 7% of our audience identify as women? How sexist of you, Barack, to assume they would be watching Disney movies. Don't worry, ladies, I'm going to have to turn on the Joe charm soon to put Barack in his place. You emanate as much charm as an obese slug, Joey. But you know what that is valid to say. And I apologize to any ladies watching this. Anyways, up next we got Hulu. And what can I say except for that, I'm a sucker for Hulu. They have almost everything and it's cheaper than a lot of streaming services and I personally don't mind the ads. But if you're not a fan, then you can upgrade to ad free. Hulu also added live sports like, it is simply elite and I will be placing this into S tier. I am a sucker for Hulu, so I will allow this placement, but looking at this tier list, I feel like there is like two more S tiers waiting for us on this list. You better not mess this up, Barry. Can you relax, man? I know what I'm doing. I feel like I have the best tier list, but whatever. And up next, we got Fubo. I don't know what the hell that is, and I don't even feel like looking it up. It's mainly local channels and sports stuff. Really, it's kind of useless since we got other streaming services that already have live sports and also offer better stuff with it as well. Yeah, I'm feeling a D tier on this one. It just seems lousy. Up next, we got HBO Max, or now known as just Max. I also am a huge fan of Max. I like their shows and how they have access to a lot of Cartoon Network and Adult Swim shows. Not to mention they have movies and now they're adding some live sports. Like this is just a good ass streaming service and I would heavily recommend people get this one and we'll place this into S tier. You know what show is a banger? Which one, Joe? 10 year old Tom and smiling friends are both indeed certified double platinum by the Joe Dog as certified bangers. Of course, Joe would like a show about some 10 year old named Tom. You like sniffing him on the screen or something? Now, wait a minute. I unfortunately have to admit that Joe is cooking right now. 10 year old Tom is funny as hell and smiling friends is also bona fide as well. 
If you haven't seen it, I would heavily recommend them both. But yeah, anyways, up next we got Netflix. Home of all the original shows in all of existence. Too bad a lot of them are terrible, like look at Riverdale and that god-awful show. I will say though that the One Piece live action was a bop and kudos on them for that. But they've made so many stinkers, but they get legacy points from me for being one of the OG streaming services. I still think that they charge too much right now. But I will give them a solid A tier for legacy reasons and the series they've created. I know they didn't make Breaking Bad, but I binged it all on there, and I personally really like Stranger Things. Don't get Joe started on Stranger Things because he twerks for Millie Bobby Brown. You, isn't she like a child? <laughs> Not anymore. Joey won the lottery that day. That is so vile, man. Let's just move past that and talk about Peacock. I don't really like Peacock unless I'm watching The Office. Still though, I will put it above Apple TV and CBS at B tier because I really do like The Office and they also have Modern Family and New Girl, so like, there's at least that. I do really like The Office. It sucks that they have to put it behind that because if they offered it almost anywhere else, I would not have a Peacock subscription. True that, man, but that's how they get you. Like Peacock without The Office would genuinely be borderline D tier. Maybe a C tier. Anyways, up next we got Prime Video and this was a tough one for me. Most people have Amazon Prime. So I'd naturally put this high up and even considered an S tier for this because everyone probably has it either way. But that's not how I wanted to do the list. I wanted to do it purely as a platform. And on its own, it is pretty good and it's arguable that it can belong in S tier. But me personally, I have it going into A tier. I love the boys and Invincible, and I like the renting and buying options for shows and movies on there, but I feel like they don't have enough to get them over the hump and place themselves into S tier. How did it even get placed that high? It literally only has a couple of good originals and most things on there you have to buy. Sleepy Joe, I know you love to constantly be sleeping, but do not disrespect the originals they have. I freaking love the boys and I don't even know if I will live long enough for Invincible season two. Yeah, I have to agree with Donald, Joe. You're massively sleeping on it, if you think that's true. Uh, anyways, up next, we got Quibi, and this is an automatic D tier. I don't even think they're in service anymore because it was that big of a failure. Then after that, we got Sling, and I'll give Sling a C tier. It's basically like the shitty booty version of our next entry because it offers live TV and a bunch of channels, but it's pretty bad in comparison to the top dog up next. You sure are hyping up YouTube TV? You sure you're not only doing that because they write our check? No, like YouTube TV is actually elite. I would be praising it even if they weren't writing our checks. But anyways, let me explain why I love it so much. It has live channels and sports and I can record stuff or pull up shows I missed at any time. I can also rent movies and it's basically cable, but even better. I like being able to just pull up any show or movie that was airing that I may have missed. Or better yet, Watch something that is about to air, like you got me messed up if you think I am gonna miss the new premiere of season seven of Rick and Morty. Seriously, everyone, if you want something similar to cable, then I would heavily recommend YouTube TV, which I have going into S tier. This definitely feels like you're sucking off the service, man. Is it really much more different than other services on here? Like I'm pretty sure Rick and Morty is on Max literally the next day after so is all this hoopla really necessary for YouTube TV? Yeah, but I can watch Rick and Morty as it's premiering. Maybe I just miss Cable Man. Is there something wrong with wanting things like how it was back then? I remember being excited to watch something air on TV or looking forward to the next new episode of whatever show I was watching. You know what? That's valid as hell. I kind of miss how it was back then too, but it's basically the same thing now. Look at all these streaming services you listed off for this tier list and they're pulling off exclusive rights to certain shows. So if I want to watch SpongeBob or the new iCarly, I got to go on Paramount. If I want to watch Cartoon Network shows, I got to go on Max. If I want to watch Stranger Things, I got to go on Netflix and so on and so forth. I'm starting to realize this is all a load of bull to make us pay more. You know what? You are spitting right now. This is basically like video game console exclusives, but cranked up to 11. You know what? We all need to band together and only use one exclusive service, or better yet, just use none at all. Maybe I will go back to cable or just use YouTube TV. I might have to hop on that train because I'm not a fan of all these streaming services hogging up my bills. Yeah, you guys do you because me personally, 
I gotta have my young Sheldon on in the background while I scroll through my Bundafield TikTok. What is up, everyone? We are back yet again with another tier list. This time we got a holiday tier list to finally determine which are the best of the best in our humble opinions. I'm gonna keep it real. My opinion isn't so humble, but that's because I'm always factually correct about all my opinions and info. Well, I wouldn't say that. Enough, you two. Let's go ahead and get this list started. And up first, we got Black Friday. Now, Black Friday back in the day used to bang when they gave out actual deals, but now I would say that it's not as great as it once was. They need to make Black Friday great again. But no, I feel this a bit, but it's still fun to go out and just look around at the things that are on sale. I still think you can get very good deals. Really, it's just Cyber Monday that sucks ass. You do bring up a good point, because when you do find an actual good Black Friday deal, it bangs. But I miss the days when people would get trampled and killed over a 50% off TV. So the OG Black Friday would have been S tier, but I think modern day it belongs closer to A tier. That's a bit morbid, but weirdly enough, I agree. And quite frankly, I do miss seeing the trampled people show up on the news or the fights that would break out. What the hell are you two waffling about? Ugh, you wouldn't get it, Joe. Anyways, let's move on to the next one, and that is Easter, and let me tell you, this holiday doesn't make me feel very hoppy. Don't even start those corny jokes here, Barack. Take that shit joke back and place this awful holiday at C or even D. What even goes on during Easter? Some eggs being hidden and that's it? Yeah, count me out. Don't like that you didn't appreciate my joke, but whatever. I do agree that Easter sucks and I will be placing this into D tier. Up next, we got good old Valentine's Day. I hate this day. No one ever buys me any chocolates and I am always alone without any hot yu girls by my side. Dude, you have a wife. Yeah, and my point still stands because she's not an oo woo baddie. I want an A1 baddie like some Wagyu beef level girl by my side while I play some Valorant. God, I hate that you play that garbage game so much, but as for a rating for this holiday, uh, I'm feeling a C for this one. It's cute to celebrate with your significant other, but I'm not like counting down the days for this thing. Plus you see everyone posting about it and it's like, we get it, you're not alone. Sound a little bitter there, Barack. You and Michelle doing okay? I don't want to talk about it. Up next, we got St. Patrick's Day, and I kind of mess with my Irish folk and their perpetual drinking habits. I like that this day is an excuse to get hammered, but I also don't like everyone pinching you or being extra as hell just because you aren't wearing green. The green is a necessity, Barack. You can't go around drinking if you're not wearing the green. See me personally, I tell them if they want to see green, they just got to pull down my pants. That is so vile, Joe, and I, I'm going to have to place this into B tier for that comment. And while we're talking about B tier, let me go ahead and put Father's Day there as well. Cool holiday where we get appreciated and get gifts. Yeah, that's at least if your kids love you. Joey, I know your ass is not getting anything from Hunter anytime soon. Joke's on you. He actually offered to take me to a father and son hiking trip over the weekend, so he most definitely cares about me. Yeah, tell us what happened during that weekend. Well, uh, he sort of, well, he kind of mugged me and held me at gunpoint. Then he told me to run my pockets, and once they were all cleared out, he told me to strip, and then blindfolded me and left me in the middle of the woods. But that's just how we mess around. I know he's just teasing me and stuff, ha ha. Holy shit, man. You need to report him to the police. What? No way, that's just how we kid around. I, I swear it's normal father and son activities. You just don't know because you're a girl dad. Yeah, Joey, my sons also do all of that just to get another fix of hookers and blow. See, it's normal. I am not touching this further. Up next, we got Hanukkah. And no hate towards my kosher folk, but Christmas clears every day of the year. Tell them, Barry. Listen, all I'm saying is that I never see no Hanukkah specials on TV. That being said, I'll give it a B tier because I do love me kosher food. Up next, we got the 4th of July, and you two already know where this is going. America is number one. Rah! Couldn't have said it better myself, Donald. Fireworks and barbecue plus a long weekend. Give me an instant S tier for that one. And up next we got Thanksgiving and I'll be honest here. I am giving this an A tier. I don't think it competes with the S tiers that I have in mind and I think of it as more of a warm up towards Christmas. Ooh, but what about all the yummy food you're not talking about? Well, that's why it's going into AA tier. The food is the saving grace. Anyways, up next we got Mother's Day, and I am a huge mama's boy, so I appreciate that day a lot. I think another B-tier placement for that is in play. 
Extremely valid placement with these. I can really feel the difference between a Barry List versus a Joe One. Because it's missing the swag factor. Joe, no one says that anymore. Uh, God, anyways, up next we got Halloween and this shit is elite. This is a holiday that bangs both as a kid and as an adult. As a kid, you get to trick or treat and get a metric ton of candy. And as an adult, it gives us all an excuse to party and get drunk as fuck with cool costumes. So for that, I think it belongs in S tier. I still remember when we had our party last year and I dressed up as the Riddler. That was so fun until Donald came. Listen, Joe, you were setting yourself up for those jokes like, come on, the Riddler, let's be serious. You were basically begging me to call you the Diddler all night. Yeah, you kind of set yourself up for that one, Joe. But up next, we got another S tier, and that is Christmas. What can I even say? This is self-explanatory, like it's cool as a kid and even as an adult. The gifts get worse as an adult, though. For you, maybe, but I got an indoor hot tub installed in my gaming room. Oh, can I come over? No. Well, uh, that awkward bit aside, let's tackle New Year's Eve and this kind of bangs. Not deserving of an S tier, and it reminds me that we're always a year older, but the parties for it are fun, so I have to go with a solid A. Just make sure you don't invite Joe to this year's party. We don't want a repeat of last year. Listen, man, it was a new year and I had to kiss whoever was next to me or I'd get bad luck. Everyone would have done what I did. Joe, you fucking kissed my dog. What is up, gang? Your presidential trio is back at it again with another tier list, and this time we decided it would be good to make a pet tier list for all of our animal-loving subscribers out there. As you can all see, we have a variety of pets on here, most of them belonging in the house. I like how cute that hamster looks. I appreciate that, Joey. The hamster does look pretty cute. But anyways, let's go ahead and get this wonderful list started. And up first, we got man's best friend, and that is dogs. I think I speak for all of us when I put dogs up in S tier. I'm pretty sure we all have dogs too, right? Speak for yourself, Barack. I love dogs, but I would not like to own one. I don't like the idea of having to pick up crap every day and having it annoy me constantly. However, I do love visiting other people's dogs because I get all of the love and chillness that comes with a dog without ever having to deal with all the actual issues that come with dogs. If you ask me personally, I would rather have a cat. They're chill as hell and do their own thing. I could leave a cat out for days and it'll come back and just be chilling. Plus, they have their own litter boxes where they do the deed if it isn't outside. But Donald, weren't you just on Barack's ass last tier list for jumping ahead of the list? Way to be a hypocrite, but I can kind of see why you would think that way about cats, especially since you're too lazy to take care of your own self. So how could you do it with another creature? Uh, let's relax now, guys, and move on to our next animal, which is snakes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I like snakes. They're pretty cool. Like, I would most certainly prefer them over every other reptile on this list, I think, so I believe an A tier would be good for this. Now, this is something I can get behind. Snakes are the very definition of chill. Like, have you guys ever met a guy with a snake that wasn't cool? Not as of yet, but I'm sure you owning one would definitely change my mind. Now, up next, we got ferrets, and man, they are extremely cute, but I cannot deal with all the maintenance. Like, they smell really bad after a while, and they just seem like a lot of upkeep, but I won't judge you for owning one. I will, however, grade it on this list and give it a C-tier ranking. You're killing me here, Barry. Do you not like cute and small animals? They are so cool to just have chilling in your pocket or like snoozing with you on the bed. Next, you'll say you hate hamsters. Well, uh, let's just talk about these in order and let's jump to frogs next, and these will also be placed in C-tier. They're like snakes, but less chill in my opinion. Like, imagine owning a bullfrog and having it keep you up at night with all the noise. If they're poison dart frogs, they look super cool, but the upkeep and environment you gotta make for them is too much. And while I'm venting, please let me go after birds. I freaking hate birds. Like you cannot tell me with a straight face you love your louds ass chirping birds that will peck the hell out of you if they don't like you. Like parrots are cool, but they seem annoying as hell too, but at least they talk. These other birds don't even do anything but squawk. And for those reasons, I will be placing birds into the D tier because they are just awful. Wow, Barack, that's a lot to take in. Is this all coming from the time your brother asked you to take care of his birds? Yeah, and I think I hate it even more because bro will not keep my name out of his mouth and is tweeting some crazy shit again. But he loves me though. God, what an American he is. Yeah, sure, man. 
Up next, we got cats, and I unfortunately have to agree with Donald and say that they are indeed mad chill. They are direct competitors with dogs, in my opinion, but I still think dogs are better. They still get an S rating from me because they are that elite. See, I'm always right when it comes to the ratings, everyone. Ugh. Don't be annoying about this. Anyways, up next, we got lizards, and I will be placing these into B tier. They're almost as cool as snakes, but I still mess with them. They also taste pretty good. I can't even lie to you guys. You've tasted lizards before. What the heck? Gross. Joe, I know you've put worse in your mouth, but it's whatever. Next, we got turtles, and I like turtles. I don't know why, and I can't really explain it, but they're just cool as hell and belong in A tier. Plus, you got the teenage mutant ninja turtles and stuff. Like, what is there not to like? Plus, they taste good, too. W on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comment, but dude, how many animals on this list have you eaten? Uh, well, how about we talk about monkeys up next? You would want to talk about monkeys, wouldn't you? What the hell does that mean? I just want to change the subject, and, well, I have monkeys going into B tier. Like, it would be pretty cool to have one, but next thing you know, it'll go primal on my ass and claw off my face, so that wouldn't be cool but monkey, so I think it's cool. Oh boy, if monkeys go that high, then I can't wait to see where you'll place my little hamster buddies. Yeah, Joe, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I hate hamsters, and they barely go above birds, which will place them in C tier. These things just have babies and eat all day. You ever actually own one, Joe? Because they are a hassle and suck so much. Well, I haven't personally, but they look adorable. I would rather get a rabbit at that point, which I will have going into B tier. They're nice little pets you can have in and out the house, and they do their own little thing. Let me guess, you also ate rabbits before too. Surprisingly, no. But I want to because I heard it's delicious. Maybe we should do a meat tier list next. Oh my god, yes. Ah, ah, ah. What the fuck? He was a little too happy for that one. Yeah, it makes me want to do it less, but whatever. Up next, we got horses, and they are so nice, and you can actually ride these, which automatically places them into A tier. You know, I didn't pin you as a horse girl, Barack. Because I'm not. Sorry, I just like to ride these guys. Now, that is definitely what she said. Jesus Christ, that was too easy. Ha ha. Very funny. Anyways, up next, we got hedgehogs, and they look adorable, but I've never seen one in real life, surprisingly, so I think a B tier would work well for this. They cannot be worse than hamsters. Wow, and I bet you'll place fish into A tier or something because you hate having cuddly things. No, they actually go into C tier because they suck. But again, not more than birds, bro. Can't suck more than Joe on a Sunday night. Oh yeah, I'd like to see the fish try. Oh, wow. What is up, gang? We are back with another video, and this time around we are doing a streaming services tier list. So go ahead and get ready to cancel all the trash ones we're about to mention. Yeah, I'm noticing we're missing a few streaming services like where the heck is the hub and X hamster? No way am I ever gonna put those two in this list. Now hold on, Barack, let's hear Joey out on this one because I think it's a valid question. Like for me, I wanna know where Brazzers would rank on this list. And you two are officially done from commenting further on this. Let's start this tier list and up first, we got Apple TV. And I think it is fair to say that this is fairly mid and have it in C tier. I don't know anything on their streaming service aside from Ted Lasso, which by the way, absolutely bangs. I am a huge Ted Lasso guy and it's a very feel good show. Feel good show, huh? Does it feel good to watch Ted Lasso go through his divorce and barely see his kid because he's halfway across the world? Is that the type of stuff that you enjoy, Barack? Jesus, man, it's a good show and that is just a part of the plot. Anyways, up next we got CBS All Access, which is also more known as Paramount Plus to everyone I also have this going into C tier alongside Apple TV. The reason for this is because this is basically just my South Park service. I don't see anyone else actually using this thing unless God forbid you're like Joey over here who constantly watches young Sheldon for whatever reason instead of South Park. Listen man, I hear all the young Sheldon hate but riddle me this. Have you guys ever tried watching it? Joe, no one in their right mind should be watching young Sheldon out of their own free will. Like, gun to my head, well, shit, I guess I'll watch it. But otherwise, I will choose to watch any other show in existence. Yeah, you're missing out on some peak. Young Sheldon will forever remain the best show to have in the background playing while I'm doing almost anything else. 
You two can't understand the value in that because I am much, much more busier than you two because of all my presidential duties. Joe, the other day you showed me your screen time on your phone and I saw you had over eight hours on TikTok. What could possibly be keeping you so busy that you need a background show to be playing? Those eight hours were Chinese surveillance in order to make sure the future of America isn't being tainted. And I had to make sure there weren't any subliminal messages throughout it. Safe to say the big bundas I saw on my For You page were not of national security concern, so you're welcome for keeping all of America safe. Wow, we are so grateful anyways. Up next, we got Disney Plus, and this rating might make all you Marvel goblinoids mad, but I am putting this in A tier. Like I am not trying to watch every single Marvel show in existence. They make shows for just about anyone these days. And I also don't want to watch every Disney movie all over again. I'm sorry to the 7% of our female audience and all the Disney boys, but I am not going to watch Lion King for the fifth time. Whoa, 7% of our audience identify as women? How sexist of you, Barack, to assume they would be watching Disney movies? Don't worry, ladies, I'm gonna have to turn on the Joe charm soon to put Barack in his place. You emanate as much charm as an obese slug, Joey. But you know what that is valid to say. And I apologize to any ladies watching this. Anyways, up next we got Hulu, and what can I say except for that, I'm a sucker for Hulu. They have almost everything, and it's cheaper than a lot of streaming services, and I personally don't mind the ads. But if you're not a fan, then you can upgrade to ad-free. Hulu also added live sports like, it is simply elite, and I will be placing this into S tier. I am a sucker for Hulu, so I will allow this placement, but looking at this tier list, I feel like there is like two more S tiers waiting for us on this list. You better not mess this up, Barry. Can you relax, man? I know what I'm doing. I feel like I have the best tier list, but whatever. And up next, we got Fubo. I don't know what the hell that is, and I don't even feel like looking it up. It's mainly local channels and sports stuff. Really, it's kind of useless since we got other streaming services that already have live sports and also offer better stuff with it as well. Yeah, I'm feeling a D tier on this one. It just seems lousy. Up next, we got HBO Max, or now known as just Max. I also am a huge fan of Max. I like their shows and how they have access to a lot of Cartoon Network and Adult Swim shows. Not to mention they have movies and now they're adding some live sports. Like this is just a good ass streaming service and I would heavily recommend people get this one and we'll place this into S tier. You know what show is a banger? Which one, Joe? 10 year old Tom and smiling friends are both indeed certified double platinum by the Joe Dog as certified bangers. Of course, Joe would like a show about some 10 year old named Tom. You like sniffing him on the screen or something? Now, wait a minute. I unfortunately have to admit that Joe is cooking right now. 10 year old Tom is funny as hell and smiling friends is also bona fide as well. If you haven't seen it, I would heavily recommend them both. But yeah, anyways, up next we got Netflix. Home of all the original shows in all of existence. Too bad a lot of them are terrible, like look at Riverdale and that god-awful show. I will say though that the One Piece live action was a bop and kudos on them for that. But they've made so many stinkers, but they get legacy points from me for being one of the OG streaming services. I still think that they charge too much right now but I will give them a solid A tier for legacy reasons and the series they've created. I know they didn't make Breaking Bad, but I binged it all on there and I personally really like Stranger Things. Don't get Joe started on Stranger Things because he twerks for Millie Bobby Brown. You, isn't she like a child? <laughs> Not anymore. Joey won the lottery that day. That is so vile, man. Let's just move past that and talk about Peacock. I don't really like Peacock unless I'm watching The Office. Still though, I will put it above Apple TV and CBS at B tier because I really do like The Office and they also have Modern Family and New Girl, so like, there's at least that. I do really like The Office. It sucks that they have to put it behind that because if they offered it almost anywhere else, I would not have a Peacock subscription. True that, man, but that's how they get you. Like Peacock without The Office would genuinely be borderline D tier. Maybe a C tier. Anyways, up next we got Prime Video and this was a tough one for me. Most people have Amazon Prime, so I'd naturally put this high up and even considered an S tier for this because everyone probably has it either way. But that's not how I wanted to do the list. I wanted to do it purely as a platform and on its own. It is pretty good and it's arguable that it can belong in S tier. But me personally, I have it going into A tier. I love the boys. 
and Invincible, and I like the renting and buying options for shows and movies on there, but I feel like they don't have enough to get them over the hump and place themselves into S tier. How did it even get placed that high? It literally only has a couple of good originals and most things on there you have to buy. Sleepy Joe, I know you love to constantly be sleeping, but do not disrespect the originals they have. I freaking love the boys and I don't even know if I will live long enough for Invincible season two. Yeah, I have to agree with Donald, Joe. You're massively sleeping on it if you think that's true. Uh, anyways, up next, we got Quibi and this is an automatic D tier. I don't even think they're in service anymore because it was that big of a failure. Then after that, we got Sling, and I'll give Sling a C tier. It's basically like the shitty booty version of our next entry because it offers live TV and a bunch of channels, but it's pretty bad in comparison to the top dog up next. You sure are hyping up YouTube TV? You sure you're not only doing that because they write our check? No, like YouTube TV is actually elite. I would be praising it even if they weren't writing our checks. But anyways, let me explain why I love it so much. It has live channels and sports, and I can record stuff or pull up shows I missed at any time. I can also rent movies, and it's basically cable, but even better. I like being able to just pull up any show or movie that was airing that I may have missed. Or better yet, watch something that is about to air, like you got me messed up if you think I am going to miss the new premiere of season seven of Rick and Morty. Seriously, everyone, if you want something similar to cable, then I would heavily recommend YouTube TV, which I have going into S tier. This definitely feels like you're sucking off the service, man. Is it really much more different than other services on here? Like, I'm pretty sure Rick and Morty is on Max literally the next day after. So is all this hoopla really necessary for YouTube TV? Yeah, but I can watch Rick and Morty as it's premiering. Maybe I just miss Cable Man. Is there something wrong with wanting things like how it was back then. I remember being excited to watch something air on TV or looking forward to the next new episode of whatever show I was watching. You know what, that's valid as hell. I kind of miss how it was back then too, but it's basically the same thing now. Look at all these streaming services you listed off for this tier list, and they're pulling off exclusive rights to certain shows. So if I want to watch SpongeBob or the new iCarly, I got to go on Paramount. If I want to watch Cartoon Network shows, I got to go on Max. If I want to watch Stranger Things, I got to go on Netflix and so on and so forth. I'm starting to realize this is all a load of bull to make us pay more. You know what? You are spitting right now. This is basically like video game console exclusives, but cranked up to 11. You know what? We all need to band together and only use one exclusive service or better yet, just use none at all. Maybe I will go back to cable or just use YouTube TV I might have to hop on that train because I'm not a fan of all these streaming services hogging up my bills. Yeah, you guys do you because me personally, I gotta have my young Sheldon on in the background while I scroll through my Bundafield TikTok. Hello everyone, it's me, the Don. Once again, bringing you guys another tier list video. I am not joined by anyone today, but who knows, maybe they'll stop by and give me their opinion on this. I have a super important tier list. Some say it's the most important one of all time. I am doing an ethnicity tier list based off of their Hey Donald, me and Barack were wondering if you wanted to join us for a game of, uh, what the hell is this man? Oh, hey Joey. See, I was making a tier list and I was just about to get started funnily enough. Do you want to help me with this? Oh, hamburgers, Donald, you can't be making tier lists like this. Uh, why not? Jesus, Donald, do you not see what is inherently wrong by doing this tier list? Dude, this will get us ran through by the cancel mob more than Riley Reed gets ran through by, uh, never mind, there's nothing wrong with getting trains ran on you. Anyways, you gotta hurry and stop sharing your screen before Obama joins. He's gonna be wondering why I'm gone for so long. What's going on, guys? Oh, what the fuck is this shit? Oh no, it's happening. Joey, calm down, I don't see what the big deal is. See, Barack, I'm making an ethnicity tier list based off their- No, you are not fucking doing this shit, Donald. Who in the fuck would ever think to do something this fucking stupid? Oh, wait, that's right. You, Donald, that's who. Jesus Christ, man. I thought we were getting better about this, man. You even gave up the idea on that wall and everything. I thought we had genuine progress on our hands. Joey, why didn't you stop him from even conceiving this absolutely terrible idea? Don't look at me. I just joined because you asked me to tell him something earlier. Guys, I think we are all just blowing this out of proportion, and I think this list is a terrific idea, quite frankly. Jesus, Donald, I can't keep bailing you out anymore on all this BS. I'm done for today.
Don't contact me for at least three days, Donald. Oh man, now you've done it, Donald. Why did you have to go and make that goddamn list? Now I have to calm him down and get him some ice cream. Thanks a lot. Geez, I don't get why everyone is so mad. I was just going to make an ethnicity tier list based off their culture's food. What is up, gang? We are bringing you all another tier list, but this time it's going to be a pretty unique one because we have an inventions tier list. So we got a lot of things on here, and to be honest, some of these pictures I don't get, but I'm sure we can guess what it is. Before we get started, though, I want to apologize to Barack. Oh, you're finally apologizing for all the jokes you were cracking about me during the Call of Duty tier list. No, I want to apologize that there are no bombs in this tier list because I'm sure that would be an S tier ranking invention for you. Oh my God, Joe, with no regard for human life. Wow, this again, huh? Jokes aside, let's get this list started. And up first, we got alcohol, and I think we all know this is an instant S tier. If you ask me personally, I think alcohol might be like at the top of the top as far as human inventions go. Holy W, Joey, but what's your preferred drink? Get me anything that'll mess me up the fastest, but I will shotgun a couple of beers if there's no hard liquor. Moving on, we got cameras, and these are pretty good. Being able to capture a moment in time and share it with other people is pretty tight. I think a solid A tier is in order because we got stuff like videos now and our smartphones have built-in cameras, but I'll put some respect on professional cameras because they take some gorgeous pictures. More importantly, guys, we got one of Barack's favorite items here, and unfortunately for him, I'll only be placing guns into B tier. They're fun to shoot, and sure, they cause a lot of death and destruction with homicides, wars, and random shootings. But hear me out, without guns, we would not have Call of Duty, so checkmate. I bet Barry is biting his tongue and crying that you're placing his precious tools of destruction so low. You guys act like I'm fascinated with guns, when in reality, the only two guns I got are my left and right arm. Boo! We did not like that joke. But I guess you're right. The only way you truly love guns is if they had explosive rounds. Hey ho! Oh my God, Joey, let the man breathe. Okay, we'll lay off bombing Barry for a bit and move on to our next invention. And honestly, this is an S tier automatically. Like without planes, we wouldn't be able to fly. And without flying, I wouldn't be able to take my trips to Cancun as easily. I think for most people, they'd agree that it's kind of cool that we can travel so quickly thanks to this metal monster with wings. And I'd agree with them. Up next, we got banks. And I really don't know what to say about banks. Sure, they're super useful, but why put the money in a place where the government can see when instead I can bury all my funds in some place near the desert with undisclosed coordinates. I'll still give it an A tier since I know boring people like banks. Uh, Joe, how much money do you have buried and uh, where is it by chance? Nah, uh, I will not be telling you. I already fell for that trick with Hunter and now I'm out a couple of bands. Let's move on to our next invention and that is the good old fashioned compass. And uh, we don't really use compasses anymore. So unless you're camping or are stranded somewhere, I don't think these are that good and we'll place it into D tier, but you know what I think is good? Freaking cars, and man, oh man, I love me some cars. They're like planes except on the ground, and I, I personally love cars. I think that's an automatic S tier because they're such a vital thing to America, unlike stupid compasses. And you know what? Throw CDs in D tier too, because who the heck is using CDs in this day and age? Uh, most people who game on consoles use that, Joey. What the hell are you blabbering about? Oh, well, I download everything for the most part because I can't be bothered going into a store and buying the physical copy. I guess I'm just living in the future unlike everyone else, but uh, up next, we got something pretty cool and that is cans. And I think cans are pretty important and actually belong in S tier because without them, we wouldn't have canned food and general food preservation. Then following up this S tier, we got another freaking S tier and that is water or more so. I mean, plumbing and water flow for things. This is an obvious S tier because even though I don't really shower much, I imagine people love to wash their hands and clean themselves instead of building up a healthy immune system with their germs like me personally. That is so vile and filthy, Joe. You could have just said you liked running water because you're able to water your lawn or flush the toilet. Yeah, uh, to tell you the truth, I, well, uh, I don't really flush the toilet that much. I kind of just let it build like a tower till I decide it's too big. Bro is building a tower of dookie. What in the ever living hell? It's to conserve water, so in reality, I'm kind of a genius. The more I think about it, the more I realize how smart I am. Anyways, up next, we got clocks, and who really cares what time it is, and who even uses old-fashioned clocks? Everything is on our phones or watches, so I think this will be our first C tier. But anyways, up next, we got a printing press, and I don't think we really use printers as much as we used to, but it's still a pretty big invention that allowed people to have more access to books and literature. 
I'll give it a C tier because the invention up next kind of made it useless. And that's the internet. Like you're watching this using the internet and you can read anything online or watch any type of video online if you catch my drift. <laughs> but yeah, it gets the most obvious S tier on this freaking planet, bro. Then after that, we got fire and fire is fire. What can I say? Without this, we'd have no cooked food and no cooked food means you cannot order any foot long chili cheese dogs from Sonic and Lord knows we can't have that. So I have to give fire an S tier as well. Ah, hell nah. My man brought out the foot long glizzy to the conversation. No way you actually enjoy those things, Joey. Like, let's be real for one second. And can you just admit those things are hot garbage? And even if you do eat those, then that means the dumps you're taking must be borderline toxic gas levels of smell. Like you could probably air out a whole county with your dumps. Nah, those things are delicious. And if you saw the way I throat those things, you'd never question my love for any sort of glizzy. Also, the smell of my turds is not your concern. I doubt your dookies smell like rainbows and posies. But enough of me professing my love for those delicious, delicious meat rods being put into my mouth and my bowel movements. Let's instead, let's talk about this next invention. And I think this is an irrigation system and that grows our crops and waters our plants. But like, who really cares? Because me personally, I think it's only a B tier. You do realize without a complex irrigation system, our crops die and alongside that the animals and with that, you don't get your sonic foot long chili dogs. Nah, by the time that happens, they'll have like hot dog meat made out of plastic and I'll be fine. Up next, we got the light bulb, and this is an instant S tier for me because I'm super scared of the dark, and I do not like not being able to see. Yeah, like if the light goes out, it's always super hard to find, Barack. Now what the fuck? It's also hard to find Joe because it would be dark, dude. Don't get your panties all rustled up. Guys, please, no interrupting me when I'm making the best damn list ever imagined. Well, as I was saying, up next, we got a magnifying glass. This could be glasses, but I don't really care either way because we got contact lenses now and laser eye surgery. So either way, this is a B tier to me. It's okay, and really it only gets this high because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be glasses. But up next, we got a map, and I fuck with maps even less than I do with glasses. I'll be giving it a C tier. I don't need maps because I can look at everything from my phone, and I don't want to pull up this big old paper map. I'd look so lame if I did that. Don't worry, Joe, you look lame as hell no matter what you do or wear. I don't think I agree with that. I think I look pretty rad. But anyways, up next, we got what I presume to be an engine and we got all forms of energy slash power coming up next. But as for engines, well, uh, they power cars and other stuff. So I have to give it a B tier. Then we got windmills and I think they generate power and are eco-friendly. So that's a B tier. Then we got nuclear energy and that's like the best one, right? I don't really know but it uses nuclear energy and that sounds cool. So I have to give it an A tier. Dude, have you not seen what happened in Chernobyl? Oh, I saw that series online. It was pretty cool, but what does that show have to do with real life stuff? Joe, it's based on a real life nuclear power plant that blew up and devastated all forms of life in the surrounding area. That place is inhospitable. Yeah, but that shit looked kind of dope in the series. So I'm gonna have to keep it there. Then we got what I think is an alphabet. It's a book with letters, so let's just call it the alphabet, and that's pretty important for speaking and learning, so I think an A tier is in order. Then after that, we got penicillin, and I don't use it personally, but I know hella people do, so let's go ahead and give it a fat B tier. Jesus Christ, Joey, you're running through these last ones. Are you going to at least talk about them a little, or why they're that low? Nah, I'm more excited to talk about the next invention, which is utensils. These are great for when I'm eating soup or something that I can't hold, but other than that, I'm using my hands like some animal. I think a solid A tier is set for that, and we got a pretty bad one up next, and that is the radio. I only use the radio whenever the Bluetooth in my car is cooked, and I'm forced to listen to whatever sorry ass DJ has to put on. I will admit it was popping in my early days when I was a kid, so I have to put some respect on it and give it a C tier. Yeah, the radio isn't too awful. Like, I think it can still be good, but it has to be done online only. And there's also that new artificial intelligence DJ that Spotify has. That doesn't really count. It's more like a randomized playlist, but it's whatever. Up next, we got the wheel. And without this, I don't think like cars, planes, and anything circular would even be thought of. Like, isn't this the go-to for like explaining human inventions? I think this is an easy S tier. And up next, we got another S tier, I think, because we got satellites, and without satellites, we would not be able to use the internet or a lot of things in general. Due to the sheer necessity of it, I feel like it has to be high up. Oh man, I'm looking at what's next and I'm salivating. We got some big heavy hitters up next. Are you excited about the train? Are you uh, a little autistic? 
No, you dumbass. I'm talking about the TV and smartphone. Oh, I wouldn't have blamed you for liking trains. I fuck with them. Well, now I got to talk about these next two, and we got TVs slash displays, and that's another automatic S tier because we need displays for almost everything, and TV in general is popping and amazing. Then we got smartphones, and again, this is an easy S tier because these goddamn things do everything. One moment I'm filing my taxes, and then in the next I am on the hub. Dude, what the hell? Don't talk about that on our video. I never specified which hub, but uh, it's exactly the one you think it is, and now that we're talking about it, I uh, want to go on it, so let's hurry and finish. And our last two entries are trains, and I assume electricity is after that. As for trains, I think they're pretty cool and good for transport, especially for places like Europe. But we're in America, so they're only half useful. But I like to go on a train and stare out the window and vibe to some tune. So for the vibes alone, I give trains an A tier. And wrapping up the list, I'll give electricity an S tier. I don't feel like I have to explain this at all. What about people who live off the grid? And what about those innocent lives you took in the Middle East? Yeah, let's not mention either. What is up, gang of Lang? We are back with another tier list, and I unfortunately got stuck with making one about random school subjects. How freaking fun. Listen, man, we all had choices, and you were too indecisive and couldn't make a choice fast enough, so you got stuck with that one. Yeah, yeah, but I already know the next week I have to get the best list or else I'm going to throw a fit. But don't worry, Barack, I won't take your chicken wing tier list from you. I know you got that in the bag, and I can't compete with you when it comes to your elite chicken knowledge. God, you are such an idiot, Donald. But in this very instance, you are correct. Because as a matter of fact, I do happen to be a wing expert, so I'm only like half mad that you said such a dumb thing. Whoa, whoa, let's keep it real here, because we all know that I am the real wing expert here. Joe, you like Little Caesar's wings, and for that alone, I would give you like a negative wing rating, but let's save that wing talk for next week and go ahead and get started with this school subject list. And up first, we got chemistry. And who the hell likes chemistry? Like, you think I care at all about the periodic table and what compounds mix with what? I will admit the experiments are cool and you could play with fire and stuff, so like that kind of gets it a higher ranking than what it actually deserves. Like, chemistry with no lab exercises would be an automatic F tier, but since it does have that, I will give it a C tier for allowing me to play with Bunsen burners. I used to use those Bunsen burners to cook up my dogs. Joe, you know how dangerous and reckless that is, the amount of chemicals in a lab and, you know, using actual lab supplies to cook your dog. Don't knock it till you try it. It'll knock me out if I try any Bunsen dogs. But anyways, up next we got a pretty fun one, and that's art. I mess with drawing and sculpting stuff. I don't know if you guys know this, but I happen to be a connoisseur of the fine arts. Sure you are. Please tell me what art you happen to be interested in. Oh, it's almost all self-portraits of myself, and they're all life-sized as well. If you guys come to my house next time, I have a room dedicated to my sculptures and art. I call it the bust room, and without it, I would be sad. So I have to give art an A rating. Oh, I'll be in the bust room, busting right in the bust room. Yeah, uh, we may have to have a rain check on that, but anyways, up next we got biology, and I don't really care much about biology. Like, who really cares about how the human body works and all that dumb stuff? Like, if you ask me, the only biology I care about is female biology, if you catch my drift. I'll still, unfortunately, be placing this into D tier. I'm gonna definitely have to agree with you there, Donald. I don't care much about that stuff either. I think you guys are undervaluing the importance of understanding how our body works and how the different things we ingest or do can affect our bodies. And without biology, we wouldn't know those things. Blah, blah, blah. I do not care about any of that, Barack. I am a freaking unit, and I don't need to understand biology to know that the Don is amazing. But more importantly, we got an A-tier subject up next, and that is foreign language classes. Without these, I would not be able to order from my favorite Mexican place. I like to dazzle them with my immaculate Spanish pronunciation. I tell them, hola, me puede dar un taco por favor. Jesus, just hearing my amazing Spanish gives me goosebumps. Uh, do you actually go around talking like that to people who speak Spanish? Duh, and when I do, I know they love it because they always smile and laugh because I am a very charismatic man. Mi español es muy, muy caliente, as they say, and it's also biblioteca baño. Well enough of my superb Spanish, and let's talk about the next one. And we got history, and man, oh man, I have to place this into S tier. Like I am going to be in history books. Is that not amazing? One day, some future young Trump will open up his history book and see me splattered all over a page, and I'm sure they'll be so proud of their grand, grand, grand pappy. Oh, I'm sure there's going to be other people splattering all over your page. Don't you worry. Gross Joe and Donald, we are all presidents. 
So uh, I am pretty sure we are all going to be in a history book. Yeah, whatever. I doubt Sleepy Joe here will get anything in any book, but you guys can stay getting jealous. The next one we got is financial literacy, and honestly, this is an A tier for me. Everyone needs to go read my book and learn the way to handle their money and learn from one of the best. While I agree that financial literacy is important, I really don't think anyone should read his book. You're better off just gambling everything on a random racehorse. Now that would be a page straight from the book of Biden if you ask me. Yeah, and that sounds like the dumbest thing I have ever heard because we all know you are better off betting it all in the casino, or even better yet, betting it all on some random sports team. But that's neither here nor there because up next we got another goaded subject and that is physical education. And the only educating I'm doing is teaching those punks how to get demolished in any sport of their choosing. This is an easy S tier for me. I am also the embodiment of physical health. Like one look at the Don and you'll be like, God damn now that is a male in peak physical condition. I don't think a single soul has ever said that, Donald. Let's keep it real. Plus last time we played basketball, I beat you 21 to zero. So like how the hell are you gonna tell anyone here that you dominate? Well, it's pretty obvious that you beat me in basketball. Like, who are we kidding here? You're naturally and genetically talented Barack. That is not a compliment at all, and we also played golf, and I beat you badly in that, too. I threw out my hip that day, so uh, that does not count at all. What about when we played shuffleboard and I beat you? Not a real sport, so there you go. Listen, guys, I'm done trying to explain myself here. You all should know that I dominate anything I do as long as I'm not injured. I'll give shuffleboard to Joey because, like I said, that is not a real sport, so I really don't care if I lose that one if I am being totally honest here. All that nonsense aside, let us move on to our next subject, which is language arts. Man, you have to be a big-ass nerd to genuinely enjoy learning grammar and how to actually spell things. I will admit that this class does bang when you're doing some reading because I mess with some cool stories. Like Joe, you remind me of Lenny from Mice of Men. I have never read that. The only books a motherfucker like me has read was the Percy Jackson and Hunger Games books. Joe, you were like 50 or 60 when those books came out. Yeah, your point is what exactly? Dude, if those are the only books you read for the first 60 years of your life, then I am seriously worried about you. No, I mean, I uh, did technically read other stuff, but I don't think uh, hentai really counts. But if it did, then I'd be like master prestige level in reading. Jesus Christ, Joe. Now, hold on. He may have cooked with that one, not gonna lie. I think language art still deserves a B tier because I actually do enjoy stories and as you all know, I am a published author, but that's enough of that. Let's move on to the real nerd shit and that is math. Please don't tell me any of our precious subscribers actually enjoy math. Like I am sorry to anyone who loves it because this is going to be our very first F tier and I am not ashamed of putting there at all. Like the only time I use math is whenever I'm counting change but if you start throwing in the alphabet into my math, then you got me fucked up, man. I will say, though, if you genuinely enjoy math, I respect the hell out of that because that's like looking at Lizzo and telling yourself, wow, this is the most beautiful woman on all of planet Earth. Like we all know damn well she ain't, but if you're taking one for the team, then more power to you. What if I were to tell you that I would not mind me a piece of that sweet Lizzo cake? A uh, Joe, you dirty, dirty dog. But enough Lizzo talk, and let's talk about the next subject, which is music. I have lots of talented friends in the music industry, and Joe, before you even ask, you are definitely not one of them, but learning how to play music seems pretty cool and chill. And for that, I think I'll give it a solid A tier. After that, we got another boring subject, but again, much like with chemistry, at least you can perform experiments and do slightly cooler stuff than in biology, so I think I have to give physics a solid C tier as well. That's a bit valid, but I feel like people hate physics a lot more than they hate chemistry. So I don't know how this rating will go down with the public. Well, the Don said it was a C tier, so they should not be disagreeing with me. But more importantly, what is the difference between social studies and history? Aren't they like the same thing? Well, you see, social studies include the subjects of history, geography, economics, civics, and sociology. Through all of that, the elements of ethics, psychology, philosophy, anthropology, art, and literature are incorporated into the subject field itself. Snooze! I think that sounds like a B tier to me. Up next, we got technology, and I don't even know what you would do in a class like that, but I already know it has to be banging. I have to give this an S. I assume you use computers and stuff, so that sounds cool. After that, though, we got something that just stunk up the place, and that is geometry. This is just math, but with angles and shapes, and I'm not a fan of that either. Place this garbage into F tier. Valid for the technology take, but why do you hate math so much? 
I wasn't good at it, and it bores the hell out of me. Our final entry, however, is not boring at all, though, because we got wood shop, and this is an automatic S tier. You'd all be amazed with the way I work with my wood. Oh, I'd love to see the way you work with that wood, Donald. Yeah, I can't do that, but I think wood shop is one of the best blow off classes, and I feel damn proud making stuff and then actually using it. Like I made a stool and I still use it to this day. Yeah, I also made a stool. Well, uh, it's more like a bench than a stool. I don't really use it anymore either because it was really thorny and gave me constant splinters, and uh, it just kind of sucked. Doesn't surprise me you sucked at Woodshop Joe. Whoa, whoa, ease up on Joe a little there, Donald. It doesn't matter if you were good or bad at certain subjects, and it is okay that Joey is bad at Woodshop. Mm, Barry, you were bad at Woodshop, weren't you? Uh, as a matter of fact, I was, but how did you guess that? Was it me standing up for Joe just then? Did that tip it off? Because if that's the reason, then remind me to never stick up for Joe again. Oh, what did I do? Nah, it wasn't because you stood up for Joe. The reason is actually a lot more complex and nuanced than that. Okay, so uh, what gave it away? Because I never told you I took Woodshop before. Oh, that's super easy. Uh -huh. The reason why is because you're black. What is up, gang? We are back with another video, and this time we're going to be making our long-awaited seasons tier list. Please tell me who was waiting for this tier list, because I can tell you personally that the Don was not head over heels for this. That's because you're a hater, Donald. Try to be more like the Joe dog and learn to appreciate things instead of being bitter. The only way I can be more like you, Joe, is if I sleep through multiple concussions or get some major CTE. Settle down, you two, but I personally was waiting for this list. It'll be a nice and short one for once. And we can just talk about why we prefer what season. So let's go ahead and get this list started because up first we got fall. Now, what are we thinking about fall? Because I want to get everyone's opinions on this. Because if you ask me personally, I am not a fan of fall. Like all those goddamn leaves falling and then the cold starts to come, but it's not winter cold. It's like breezy cold one day and then warm the next. It's all just very wishy-washy and it just cannot decide what it wants to be. Yeah, I do not like fall at all. Like who the hell wants to rake leaves? I am a hater of autumn and I just don't get the love for it. Like sure, someone can argue that it has Thanksgiving, so that might be a little cool to have as a holiday, but man, I cannot get over the fact that the weather is so garbage more than half of the time that it's autumn. You guys are underappreciating fall weather and how it's a nice intro or like a transition into winter. Like it obviously can't go from being hot as hell and then have it be snowing the very next day. We need that transitional period in order to have winter. I don't think anyone is arguing over the fact that it may be necessary for winter or that the transition in weather is needed, but like who the hell actually enjoys it? Like you have to either fully wait for winter to come or just forget about wearing shirts and tank tops because it's not summer weather anymore. What about jumping into leaves? Next, you're gonna tell me that you don't like doing that during fall weather. Joe, unless you're like seven, I don't think anyone enjoys doing that. Then you get all itchy from that and you realize those leaves probably have all sorts of grubs and insects in them and now they are basically all over you. Yeah, I think we've decided. And by we, I think me and Donald have decided that this belongs in last place. I just don't see much value in autumn, especially when we have these next ones coming up and the one after this is what I presume to be spring. Now, I think I have an idea of how I feel about spring and you know how we were basically just shitting on fall for being the transition to winter. Well, spring is basically the transition to summer. And other than seeing plants bloom and the change from seeing snow melt all around you, I just don't see a lot of value in it. Like my allergies go crazy during spring and it is a pain to just walk out and not be sneezing 24 seven. How about you get your immune system up, you soy boy? If your best argument for spring is that a little allergy flare ups prevents you from doing anything, then why don't you get some medicine and enjoy the outside? The morning dew and a nice spring breeze should be enough to get anyone happy to be alive. Joe, you know that pollen is literally plant jizz. Now, me personally, I refuse to inhale any sort of seminal fluid, and I know the same does not apply to you. However, I will agree with Barack in that this is just another transitional period, and it really, truly does not hit as hard. Definitely hits harder than fall, that's for sure. But if you put it up against summer or winter, I don't know, man, like maybe you can argue for winter, but if you're a fan of the cold and snow, not to mention Christmas and New Year's, then I really don't see an argument for spring. The argument is that we should all appreciate the flowers and greenery that bloom in spring. Yeah, I don't care enough to be honest. Uh, do you care, Donald? Not one single bit. It's settled then. We will be placing spring into our third tier. Moving past that, we got our two heavy contenders for, for top two. 
What are we thinking, fellas? Because I personally want winter going number one. I am a fan of Christmas and just the cold overall. Like I said in our weather tier list, it gives us all an excuse to stay inside and just relax with family. Or if you're someone like me, you will just play video games and binge TV shows all day without feeling bad about it. Because what else are you gonna do when it's negative eight degrees outside? I know damn well I am not going out there to have a snowball fight, but actually, I would consider some skiing if the opportunity presented itself. Okay, I like the cold in winter a lot, but man, I don't think I prefer winter overall, especially when compared to summer. Like, I want to be relaxing on the beach with a nice cold drink and my feet in the sand. You cannot do that during winter, and sure, skiing is nice and fun, but why the hell would I do that when instead I can go out for a nice and refreshing swim? What if it's summer and there is no pool or anything to cool down the heat? Then it just ends up being a crappy and hot time. Man, go drink some water or use your AC more. I don't know what you want me to say there. All that sounds like something to me. Want to know what that something is, Barack? What does it sound like to you, Donald? Sounds like a goddamn personal problem. I fully am a part of the summer elite forces and will appreciate my trips to Cancun or wherever the hell I decide to go a lot more in the summer than I ever would in the winter. Listen, man, it just sounds like we will be at odds for this. So unfortunately, we are going to have to ask the quiet man in the room here. And much to all of our disappointment, that is Joey. So, what do you make of all this? Simple answer here, gentlemen. It's obviously summer that belongs number one. Ha! Damn it! Why is that, Joe? I thought you liked staying inside just as much as I do. Oh, I do, but when it's summer season, something special happens that will never occur in any other season. And what is it, Joe? Girls in bikinis. God damn it. He is spitting! <laughs>